What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you a brand new video on the Tier 1 system. Now, before we go ahead and get into the video about what this is going to be about, down in the description, I'll have a link as well as at the very end of the video, I'll have a link to the Tier 1 system for dummies. I made that pretty much right when the CWL announced this new uh, this new tier system being the Tier 1 system for Town Hall 10 and what it all means, why the CWL did it. We go ahead and go over the troops and the spells, what you can do with your heroes. So make sure you check that out if you have not already. In this video, now, like I said, when I first did that video, it was when it was brand new. So since then, um, not only myself, but a lot of people have been hearing that the same kind of questions get repeated. So I want to go ahead and cover everything for you guys real quick. I don't want to jinx myself, but I do not want this video to get too lengthy. I want it to be a quick reference uh, for those of you that have, you know, basically answering most of your, of the most common questions, your frequently asked questions. We want to cover them in this video. So the first thing we're going to be covering, you guys can follow the text that I'll have on the screen, is defenses, okay? And a lot of people have been asking, we'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and go right here. We'll go edit. Uh, where is it at? Remove all. Okay. So a lot of questions that people have are um, defenses. They say, okay, now that I'm Town Hall 10, remember you do get new defenses. You get, you get a new bomb tower. You get a new archer tower. You get a new cannon. Um, yeah, archer tower. And you also get a new expo as well, which is a big question a lot of people have been asking. And of course, the inferno towers. So the big one is, is the expos. Okay, a lot of people are saying, if I go to tier one, can I drop my new expo? The answer is yes. You can drop any of the new defenses. Once you go to Town Hall 10 and you unlock the new defenses, you can drop all of them. The thing is, remember, when it goes to weight, remember, check out that other video. It's all the defenses is how bases get weight in uh, the CWL, how they break down each of the different tiers one through five. So remember, any defense that is a Town Hall 9 level, like these Expos right here, okay, these are level 3 Expos, that is max level at Town Hall 9, meaning that the weight is zero. It does not weigh anything. Tier 1, the weight for Tier 1 is 0 to 20. So if you go, if, you're, if the weight of your base goes to 21, you are now in a tier two and basically none of this applies to you anymore. So I definitely wanna get that question answered and get that out of the way. You can drop any of your new defenses uh, that are available to you. The only thing is you can only upgrade them pretty much to the Town Hall 9 level. Uh, the other thing is the Inferno Towers. On this account right here, um, the gem pack was bought. So when you buy that gem pack, when you go to Town Hall 10, you get a, why is that on single? Or more, yeah, there you go. Now it's on multi. When you buy the gem pack, I think it's like 20 bucks or in, in the United States, it's $20. Um, you get an automatic Inferno Tower that's already level two, ready for action right away. Uh, you don't have to, you don't, you don't even need a builder to get that Inferno Tower. Um, so with that Inferno Tower being level two, that's already 18 points, guys. So that's, pr that's pretty much max right there. I mean, you can get, I, th I think a bomb, I think a mortar weighs, um, one point so you can upgrade a couple mortars, but I'm telling you, if you guys buy the gem pack, I'm not telling you not to, but if you buy the gem pack, you, that's that level two Inferno Tower right here. That's pretty much the only thing that you can upgrade on your base as far as defenses go. Okay, um, the uh, the other defenses that you can upgrade, uh, the traps, you can completely max those. They weigh nothing. Uh, also, the Teslas. These Teslas obviously have not been upgraded yet, but these Teslas you can upgrade to max, to max level Town Hall 10, so you can take your Teslas to level 8, and it also will not weigh anything. The other defense that weighs absolutely nothing is... Where the hell is it? There it is. Defenses. 
or air defenses, defenses. So air defenses, guys, weigh absolutely nothing. So you can also bring your air defenses up to level eight and it will not weigh anything. So you can get those uh, to max. So these are the defenses you want to look at to max first because they don't, you know, they, it doesn't change the weight of your base. Uh, same thing with the air sweepers. You can upgrade those to max as well without taking any, um, without increasing the weight. And of course, the walls. A lot of people have asked, what if I upgrade my walls? Is that going to change my tier system? Guys, you can have fully maxed level walls. If I mean, if, if you do the farming, you can have uh, right here, you can have level 11 walls. These are level 10. These are the, the max level at Town Hall 9. But you can have you can have a tier 1 with fully maxed all magma walls and you'll still be a tier 1. So... I also want, so we got the defenses out of the way. Uh, quick summary, you can fully max the air sweeper, the air defenses, and the Teslas. The new defenses that you get, I think we have a little, yeah, we got a couple, uh, we got a little bitch cannon right here. And we have a little bitch archer tower right here. So those you can also bring up to max level, um, town hall nine level, okay? Um, say you don't, okay, now for those of you, some people have said, well, I'm not going to buy the gem pack. What can I upgrade if I just have two uh, level one Inferno Towers? Remember, level one Inferno Towers also weigh nothing. So just to give you a quick idea, a couple things that you can do. You can upgrade four Archer Towers um, or not and, but or you can upgrade four cannons because a cannon and an Archer Tower, if you upgrade those one level, those are each five points. You upgrade four, that's 20 Remember, 20 is the max. 20 is the max. 20 is the max. Um, you can upgrade two cannons, upgrade two archer towers. Um, go ahead and look at the chart. I'll have that in the description. It's also in the video where I break it down, where I break down the chart of how much weight each defense is. You can mix and match, do whatever you want. Um, but I do, I do like this. Getting the gem pack, you get some gems. Uh, I think you get some gold, and you also get the inferno tower. Okay, so... You can get four troops, what the CWL has classified as war troops, what you can upgrade to max Town Hall 10 level um, and still be a tier one. You get four of them. We'll go ahead and read the list off real quick before we break down each one and why I think you should or should not upgrade these troops. Starting off at the top, uh, we have the Wall Breaker, the Dragon, the Pekka, the Baby Drag, the Miner, the Hog, Valkyrie, Gollum, Hound, and Bowler. Uh, quick disclaimer, another question a lot of people have asked is if I upgrade my elixir barracks to unlock the miner and if I upgrade my dark barracks to unlock the bowler, is that going to count against me as a uh, war troop? The answer is no, 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 no. It will not count as your war troop. It only counts as a war troop when you throw that troop in the research lab and upgrade it. So a level one bowler and a level one miner does not count as a war troop. Definitely want to get that out of the way. So real quick, we're going to break down each one of these troops. Uh, again, starting off at the top with the wall breaker. Uh, so right here, um, definitely, here we go. Okay, wall breaker. I mean, at level five, you still only need three to break a magma, a max magma level wall, which is level 11. Um, I mean, you get a few more hit points when you have the level six wall breaker, but I still would not uh, recommend it, especially as a war troop. You only get four of them. So you don't have the wall breaker and only three of the other troops in this long list that I already mentioned. So I, I, I would definitely... Um, try to steer you away from upgrading uh, the wall break. A couple people have asked about them, uh, but you're not going to be doing you know insane queen charges. Uh, remember, your your queen's still only going to be level 35, uh, so you have you know less ability in five less levels on your archer queen, which is which is what we see when you're doing double layer wall breaks and things like that. But as a tier one, I would not recommend upgrading this troop. Um, again, this is just my humble opinion in this list. So moving on the dragon, 
Uh, we do still, we are seeing more dragon attacks. We do see a lot of 10v11 uh, dragon attacks. But again, a tier one is not really going to be hitting a max level Town Hall 11, especially when these Town Hall 11s just got all these new um, levels to their defenses. It's, I'm sorry, it's just not going to happen. Um, and we're, we just don't see a lot of flexibility with the dragons. There's not a lot of versatility uh, 10v10 with dragons. And I, I do strongly believe that there's a lot of other better troops to upgrade uh, that will be a lot more versatile, a lot more um, weapons in your arsenal, if you will, as opposed to upgrading the dragon. Um, next one being the P.E.K.K.A. I'm not even going to click on it. That is a no-brainer. Do not upgrade the P.E.K.K.A. If you really want to use it, a level 3 will do fine, especially with tier 1s more than likely trying to 3-star other tier 1s initially. So I'm not even going to talk about it. Baby Drag, it's an accessory troop. It's pretty much made for funneling. We're not seeing mass Baby Dragon attacks. Um, maybe if you have, they're really few and far between. Um, like one in a thousand. Uh, we're just not seeing uh, Baby Dragon um, attacks for 10v11 as far as mass Baby Drags. Um, but we do see them for funneling. And level two, dra uh, level 2 Baby Drags will definitely set that funnel just as well as a level 4 would. So... You know, it's really not worth upgrading. Now we're going to get into some of the meat and potatoes of this right here, if you will. Uh, starting with the miner, guys. Starting with the miner. Absolutely huge. And especially with the new update that dropped where you can have level 3 miners now at Town Hall 10. I would strongly recommend upgrading this troops, guys. Uh, a lot of bases you're going to see at Tier 1 are going to be anti-miner setups, but regardless, you're still attacking pretty much a fully maxed defense Town Hall 9 with um, level 1 Inferno Towers, uh, possibly you know with a level 2 Inferno Tower, but it's still such a strong troop. Um... Highly, highly recommend upgrading this troop, guys, uh, for one of your four war troops. Uh, next one being the hog. Probably my favorite attack right now, uh, 10v10, is um, basically, you know, your your your, your gohos or your, your gobohos, um, you know, your uh, shattered hobos, things like that. Uh, I mean, hogs are wrecking it at Town Hall 10, guys, I'm telling you, and... For those of you that don't know, they also got an HP increase in this last update as well, starting at level 6. So not at level 5, starting at level 6. I would highly, highly recommend upgrading the Hog Riders. And especially with Town Hall 9s, I mean, most of you guys have already been using uh, Hogs at Town Hall 9 for so long. Now that you're at Town Hall 10, it's not a troop that you're going to have to learn how to use. You guys more than likely already know how to use uh, the Hog Rider, and it is a very, very strong troop, especially at level 6, uh, wrecking these uh, Tier 1s. I can already see it now. Um, so I'd also recommend upgrading this troop as well. Uh, the Valkyrie. Okay, moving on to the Valkyrie. A couple people have asked um, what I think, if they should upgrade the Valkyrie or not. So the, the Valkyrie at level 5, which is max level at Town Hall 10, is what we see we do see a lot of valkyrie attacks at 10 v 11 again a tier one is more than likely not going to be hitting uh, maybe in a, in a very rare cases but the majority the vast majority will not be doing 10 v 11s and which is what we use we use level five valkyries you know to do those 10 v 11 attacks those mass valkyrie attacks and level fours will still get the job done especially in a kill squad guys which is what we're going to be seeing most often. And level four Valkyries under rage. If you have anywhere from say four to six Valkyries doing like a, you know, a CB kill squad to get in there, grab an inferno. These level four Valkyries under rage will still get the job done, uh, attacking these other tier ones. So I, I, I mean, you could, but I, I wouldn't recommend it, uh, being a war troop. I mean, unless you're just a, a Valkyrie king or something or a queen. Uh, but, wouldn't recommend it as a war troop, in my humble opinion. Uh, the next one is the Golem. Uh, this one, this one's either or. I, w I wouldn't recommend against it. I wouldn't say that you have to uh, upgrade this troop either. Uh, the level 4 Golem, um, again, tier 1s, guys. They're going to have max defense Town Hall 9, uh, or max defense, uh, max defense is 
at the Town Hall 9 level, which is what we already use at Town Hall 9, which is a level 4 Golem. So, you, you know, you're not going to be attacking, uh, you know, these max Town Hall 10s. Um, so, the other thing, a lot of people have been using a Bitch Attack a lot, which is still very viable. We do see it all the time. Um, you know, 10v10 right now is the Bitch Attack. So, if that's something, uh, you know, that you're already doing maybe on another account, or you've been doing uh, the Mass Witches, uh, the Witch Slap at Town Hall 9, then I would absolutely recommend upgrading uh the golem which would help you level these tier ones with the level with level five golems and remember which is you can't upgrade a town hall 10 so you just be making that uh basically that witch slap um or go bitch you know whatever you want to call it even more powerful so a lot of these troop upgrades can vary based on what you're already using or what you used at town hall nine but this one could be either or for me uh definitely a toss-up Okay, next one that we're going to talk about is the Hound. I would absolutely say this is a no-brainer. Remember, guys, these Tier 1s can upgrade their air uh, their air defenses to max level. Um, max, I believe, max, yeah, the max air, uh, the max air defenses at Town Hall 10 is level 8, which you can get for Tier 1. So I would definitely uh, uh, recommend, especially if you're good at air, guys, I would definitely recommend upgrading the Hound. And similar to the Witch, which would be the Balloon in this case, you can't upgrade the Balloon. So the same Balloons that you have at Town Hall 9 are the exact same Balloons uh, that you have at Town Hall 10. But I would strongly recommend upgrading the Lava Hound as one of your four war troops. The other one is the Bowler. Um, again, you can have level 1 Bowlers which you can still use for funneling, which a lot of people use. Um, this one could also be either or. The bowler, especially in like a bitch attack, um, there's a lot of versatility. That's another thing. You have to look at what you can get from your troops, uh, you know, before we go and talk about the spells. Um, this is the last troop that we're going to be covering. The bowler, you, you can use for the bitch attack. You can use the bowler in a kill squad. Uh, we're not seeing a lot of um bowler smashes we do still see them though um you know where you have where you have you know say three golems 20 bowlers we do still see that i've even done it myself uh, as i'm pushing up through the leagues up in titans using bowler smash i do have the rare occasions where i will three star just using golems and bowlers guys and bowlers in the cc as well uh but it could be a toss-up um i but for me, I would recommend upgrading it because you have a lot of versatility as far as with kill squads and using it in attacks uh, like Bowler Smash or with using Bitch. So you can use it for a few different things, and I, I would recommend upgrading the Bowler, but you do not have to. So those are the troops uh, that we went through, are the troops I recommend you upgrade, um, and the troops that I recommend not upgrading. A couple of them are no-brainers. Uh, for example, like the... Uh, Pekka and the baby drag uh, but The other ones you just have to use your best discretion Ask yourself. What have you been using at town hall 9? Which is going to transition to what you're going to be using at town hall 10 something to consider Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and check out the spells um, This one's gonna be really really quick and I believe it's a big no-brainer You know, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section uh, below as we go through these uh, okay, starting off at the top, you can upgrade two of these spells, only two guys. Uh, starting off at the top, we have Heal, Jump, Freeze, Skelly Spell, Clone Spell, and Haste. Um, Heal, to me, is an absolute 100% no-brainer to upgrade. Reason being, is the Heal spell you can use both with Air Troops and Ground Troops. And especially Town Hall, at Town Hall 10... Uh, you can have the, the max level heal spell is now level 7, which does make a big difference. So, I mean, you can, use, you can use heal spell, obviously, with hogs. You can use it with bitch attack. You can use heal spell on uh, lolos. So, there's a lot of versatility that you can use with heal spell, uh, with a heal spell. So, I mean, there's no other way to say it. Upgrade the heal spell, guys. Uh, the jump spell. A couple people have asked about the jump spell. I mean, jump spell level two, how many seconds do you get? 
I mean, you still get 40 seconds uh, before that jump spell uh, goes away. I would absolutely not upgrade the jump spell. Even if you're doing a bitch attack, we're going to be using two. Uh, I mean, very rarely is the jump going to run out before your troops can get through the base, especially if you time it right. 40 seconds is a long time uh, before your troops will push across the base, into the core, into the back, into the back end of the base. So the jump spell, and if you use a jump for a kill squad, the jump spell will be up before you even start uh, your attack on the back end, whether that be Lalo, Hogs, you know, whatever you're going to be using on the back end if you're using jump for a kill squad. So level two is 40 seconds is plenty of time, um, you know, if you, if you time it right. You don't have to drop the jump spell right when the attack starts. Uh, the freeze spell, another, I'm sorry guys, another spell which is an absolute no-brainer, uh, especially with tier one's able to get that level two inferno tower and again you can use you can use free spell uh to assist with ground and your air troops uh you can use it for both and that, oh that's another thing with the jump spell it's only for ground you're not using jump spells with an air attack unless you have no idea what you're doing uh skelly spell i would not up, uh, recommend upgrading this remember you can get a skelly spell in your clan castle I'll go ahead and click on it for you guys. You can get a, a max uh, level four skelly spell um, in your clan castle. And if you're doing a, a, a skelly, like a rage kill for your queen, uh, for the enemy queen, you can drop, you know, a, one of your own level one skelly spells plus with the maxed one. And if you, if you do it right, you'll get that queen kill every single time. I would not recommend upgrading this, which is level three at Town Hall 10, but you do not really need it. Uh, clone spell. We are starting to see that attack clone bone uh, at um, Town Hall 10 with 10v10 clone bone. But I, I, I'm sorry, I wouldn't recommend upgrading it. If you are going to be using it, um, if you are going to be using the clone spell, if you're going to be using the clone spell, I mean, even at level one, you still get 25 troops. So if you clone one balloon, you're still going to get five more um, out of that so even one still has decent value uh, the level one clone spell I wouldn't recommend you know upgrading clone spell over freeze or heal uh, the other one's haste a couple people have asked about haste I mean you could but I mean I've seen I've seen guys attack a fully maxed uh, town hall 10 with level two haste uh, sometimes you know they'll have one in the, in the clan castle get that level four haste in there uh, but level two I have seen uh, you know, all the time, uh, level two hay spells uh, taken out fully maxed defense, uh, Town Hall 10s. And again, tier one's hitting another tier one. Not really going to need it. I think level two is fine. Uh, so I think, I think, oh, and what you guys, I mean, this is pretty much other than, other than the cannon, the expo and the archer tower. I mean, this is pretty much guys what a tier one's going to look like. Uh, obviously your base is going to look a lot different. Uh, walls are still upgrading here, but I mean pretty much this is what your tier one is going to look like um, Fully maxed town hall nine defenses with a pair of inferno towers But this is pretty much what uh, your tier one is going to be looking like with okay with the exception of the air defenses And the Teslas those can obviously uh, Be maxed, but I hope we covered everything again I think this video went a little longer than it should have but I will have uh, just to remind you guys at the end of the video in a few seconds You're gonna see a clip uh, a thumbnail where you can click on the town hall uh, 10 tier system for dummies check that video out. I'll also have it linked down in the description uh, If you didn't make it to the very end of the video, you might not even be hearing this uh, but that is also down in the in the description. So make sure you check that out as well Both of these videos kind of go hand in hand with each other and More importantly, I hope this video helped you guys. We talked about uh, the heroes 35 35 We talked about the defenses what you can and can't do We talked about the troops what you should and should not upgrade and the spells what you should and should not upgrade And again, just trying to help you guys out for those of you town hall nines curious if um, you should go to tier one or those of you that have, um, I hope this helps you um, in your journey through Town Hall 10 and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, comment and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS and I'll see you in the very next